So I wanted to write an article for the end of the format, but um, honestly, I mean, we're getting pretty close and the new list comes out tomorrow and everything. And I don't think I'd have enough time to really proofread my work and make sure that everything's up to par with how I, you know, really like to write articles. I like to put out information. So um, instead, what I'm going to do is a simple video article. Uh, basically, I've picked 10 cards from this past format that I think have had the most uh, impact on the format. Uh, you can see them here on the screen, and I'll go through these real quick. Um, you have all four dragon rulers. They're four separate cards, and the reason I have them as four separate cards, and not just as one, hey, the dragon rulers had a good format, is because that if any one of them didn't exist, it would have lowered the success rate of the dragon deck by a significant amount. I mean, it's just that, you know, you have to run three of each, because if you don't, you're going to end up with random hands where you don't have enough to uh, start your combos off on turn one or start them off on turn two. I mean, you would already see a lot of that in some of the uh, game twos and game threes when, uh, you know, they just don't side properly and uh, they don't get their combos off well. It breaks the whole deck. Uh, but yeah, Dragon Ruler, uh, Blaster... Redox, Tempest, and Tidal have all been very significant. Uh, you have uh, Tenki. It's the backbone of the Fire Formation deck. Uh, both the dual axis, the uh, four axis, and the three axis, even though the uh, four axis has actually had a lot more success. And um, I think a lot of that is because of. Uh, Firefist Cardinal too, to be honest, and uh, Tiger King. But uh, Tinky is really the card that holds the build together. Um, it lets you search your bears, your roosters, your dragons, and everything. Fantastic card. Uh, Sacred Sword of Seven Stars. Uh, again, a backbone of the uh, Dragon Ruler deck, and one of the cards that let each of the dragon rulers get their get their effect off. Uh, Spellbook of Fate. It's kept uh, prophecy and spellbook builds up, um, you know, near tier one. I mean, they drop a little bit because uh, they have they have a pretty bad matchup against uh, evil swarms and dragon rulers and everything. Uh, they can take on dragon rulers. If it was just Dragon Rulers, but with Evil Swarm and Fire Fist in the meta, it's just too much really to cope with, so they have a hard time getting those tops. But Spellbook of Fate keeps them pretty relevant, and it should too. Uh, you have Return from the Different Dimension, probably the single most broken card of the format. Um, a lot of people might argue that Sixth Sense should have belonged here too, but uh, I mean, I wanted to do 10 slots, and uh, honestly, 6 cents has not been as uh, prevalent all format as uh, some of these other cards have been. I mean, you could argue that it should take the place of Fate, since uh, the Dragon Ruler deck really has ruled the format, but um, I think that Prophecy should still be recognized for being active in the scene, even if not as active as uh, you know, Dragon Rulers. But uh, yeah, Return from the Different Dimension. You flip it, half your life points, uh, gets you the Drac attack, the big eyes, you know, lets you just completely win the game with your Dragon Rulers. Uh, and two cards belonged in the extra deck, uh, Evil Storm of Ion. It's the thing that basically allowed Evil Storm to be really competitive in this format because it uh, counters Dragon Rulers perfectly. And it, since you can uh, main deck a whole bunch of other outs to the DRs, uh, 
Hopefully and just gives you a setup where you can basically turn one completely stop them from playing any combos out. Uh, and Mecha Fen and Beast track a sack. Uh, you summon it, you get the tokens, and the card's like indestructible. It's amazing. Um, you see it played at every tournament and almost every game, honestly. Uh, if you're playing a deck that runs two or more level 7 monsters, you probably have a Drac attack in the extra, and I think you should. It's a really, really awesome card for the format. Uh, so that's the 10 of the format. Each Dragon Ruler, uh, Fire Formation 10 Key, Sacred Sword, Spellbook of Fate, Return from the Different Dimension, uh, Evil Storm of Fion, and Mega Fen and Beast Track Attack. I think if you uh, look at each of these cards, you can definitely see why they're included in my top 10 list for the format. Um, I think if I had to pick a single most defining card of the format, it would be Return from the Different Dimension. And uh, this is because uh, the card basically gives you a win with like 100 life points. I mean, we've seen it happen in tournaments where the guy's down to like 500 LP, he'll pay 250, special summon like four or five monsters and just, you know, win the game that turn. Uh, I think it's a really broken card and I think out of the ones on this list, it's most likely to be fully banned. Uh, I also went ahead and uh, decided to take a look at some of the cards that I think might be, um, you know, defining for next format. It's, it's a little early since the ban list isn't supposed to be out till tomorrow, and I'll probably um, see if I can maybe write a full article or do another um, video after the ban list comes out, just to kind of show what changes it had in my mind. But uh, currently, these are the cards that I think will be most defining for the January format. Um, I don't fully know when all the new promos will be coming out for, um, you know, Light Swords and everything, and Gravekeepers. So uh, I'm just assuming that they're going to come out in the January format. Uh, I started with Black Luster Soldier, Unvoid at the beginning. Actually, I didn't, but uh, I sorted it, and so he's first. Uh, I think DLS is pretty defining in the format, because uh, he's going to be available in the uh, any Chaos deck, which means you'll be playing him in um, the Light Swarm builds, you'll be playing him in the Twilight builds, the Chaos builds. Really anything with both Light and Dark monsters. I think uh, think you're going. He's going to see a lot of play. Uh, Bujin Yamato. Bujins are clearly an effective deck. I mean, they're already topping events, and they came out what a month ago. Yamato's obviously going to be one of the best cards in next format. I mean, I I don't know. I could see him single-handedly making Bujins the competitive force to uh, make them the top tier deck like dragons are but, and like uh, plants and everything I've been in the past. Uh, Judgment Dragon because uh, I think Raiden and the new Michael card are going to make uh, Lightsworn pretty competitive. Uh, I mean I've tested them a bit and I think it's uh, I think it's a little bit hard to play them in the current format, but it, uh, I, I don't know. Depending on what the Ben list brings, we should be able to see JD make some serious impacts. Um, IQ the Ghost Destroyer. Uh, I honestly think that this is like one of the best cards in the game right now, and one of the best cards ever made, ever. He has single-handedly been in, well, I mean, I don't know, he's been a staple of side decks, right? Since side decks have existed, practically. Like, uh, he came out, I don't even know, 2005, maybe? And I don't think there's been a year where he hasn't 
done something in a side deck against some other deck. I think for a while, uh, DD Pro replaced him, but then people were like, you know what? Kaiku is still better. And he is. Uh, I think Tenki. I think Tenki is going to make an um, impression if it doesn't get fully banned. I really hope it doesn't. Or, I mean, limited or anything, because uh, I'd like to keep playing uh, Fire Fist. I wanted to put Cardinal on this list, but I thought that Tenki uh, should be here since it allows for both uh, Constellators and Fire Fist to really play out extremely well. Uh, Necro Valley. Everyone knows Gravekeepers are getting more support, and Necro Valley's always been the card that has uh, pushed them to new heights. Uh, Spellbook of Fate. If Dragon Rulers get completely torn up by the list, uh, Prophecy will make a comeback, and you can expect Spellbook of Fate to be there, you know, removing crap from play the entire format. Uh, Constello Plaitis. Uh, new Cyber Dragon stuff. He's playable in that, since it just takes two level 5 lights. Uh, He's going to still be played in Constellar because I don't think they're going to get hit if Tenki doesn't get hit. Um, and uh, if he's still playable in Constellar, you can, you'll see him a lot, for sure. Uh, Divine Dragonite Felgren. This is something we've been playing around with a lot on Yu-Gi-Oh forums, and uh, I think that Felgren Smash is a really shitty deck. But I think that uh, there's a couple decks he can probably be played in where he'll uh, make a more important impact, like uh, maybe some blue eyes bullets. And I put Madolke Queen Tiramisu. Uh, out of all the Madolke cards I could have chosen, I chose Tiramisu because uh, while reading the feature matches, Tiramisu was the one that actually, uh, you know, did stuff. Like, the rest of it is really just support to keep bringing her out and resetting your opponent's shield. Uh, I know she's kind of new, so I'll kind of go through what she does. Uh, once per turn, you can detach an Ixies material, target up to two monster cards, Medolke cards in your graveyard, uh, you shovel them into your deck, and then... Uh, if you chose two cards, uh, you can shuffle two of your opponent's cards that they control into their deck. Or if you chose one, you shuffle one. Um, this can be used for back row, it can be used for their, uh, you know, uber strong these monsters. And uh, yeah, it's just really, really great. Because you're not going to be stuck worrying about uh, cards that can't be destroyed. I honestly don't think it targets either. Yeah, it doesn't target. So, you know, you can get past all the. You cannot target this card. Uh, freaking awesome. Great uh, card. And I really, really do think that Madolke is going to be one of the strongest decks in regionals next format. I'm not sure if it'll make quite the impact on the YCSs that some of us might hope, maybe, but. Uh, you know, it's a cute card. Right. Uh, thanks, YF. I hope you enjoyed the video article. And um, if you, you know, provide some feedback for me, let me know. I haven't really done one of these before, so I, I don't know. I'm feeling kind of nervous about it. If you can't tell. Um, if you thought I forgot anything that you know is obviously going to make an impact or is. Uh, obviously a top 10 card last format you know discuss it below in the uh, comments and let me know i'll uh, see you guys on the boards